We're yeah. going to talk about what George Kittle said to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart got a one-on-one -on -one with George. And nice George said that he thinks the NFL should have two bye weeks now that there are 17 games. Um, my first, my my second reaction was that George is right. My first reaction though was, of course, George would want two bye weeks. Anyway, <laughs> but what do you think? Um, I, I'll go with that if they increase it. What not if? Because I firmly believe that in like the coming years. They're going to mm. boost it to yet another game, <laughs> another game of the season. If, if, what is it, 17 games now? I bet you it's going to be 18, like total actual game now. Um, so once they boost it at that, that's when I feel like, okay, it'd be easier to split it in half, right? So you go, okay, nine to nine. Um, so you're right. Like what, what, if, if Kittle and the NFLPA try to propose this at the next collective bargaining, uh, so, you know, negotiation, the owners would be like, okay, yeah, second, second bye week, 18 games. It's only right. I mean, I mean, shoot. I mean, one more game. Well, first of all, I, I kind of hated the first, uh, the extra 17th game. I kind of didn't. I was like, ah, come on, just, let's not mess with it. It's already fine. Same thing with the seventh wild card. But even though last year was kind of cool, but still, I mean, in my in my opinion, I, I like it better with the way it was originally. But if that's the way Kittle wants it, which I think it's it's funny how your first reaction was, of course, Kittle wants it, and they're in an the ice bath, which is supposed to heal your body, uh -huh. <laughs> a little bit of iron. There. I, I, but I would yeah. I would say that yeah, eighteen games would have to be the one where all right, then if you want two bye weeks and eighteen games, yeah. but I don't totally don't blame him for why he's feeling that way and the exact reasons why you're thinking for your first reaction. He's right. He's absolutely right. There should be two bye weeks. But I'm telling you, be careful what you wish for, what you ask for, because if you ask for this, I guarantee the NFL is coming back, like you said, with that 18-game proposal, and you'll probably end up having to do it. So that's rough. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's funny how Kittle went from being the, like, man, I can't get enough of football to I, – I just want to – I want to stay in bounds and take the most hits possible. I love the physicality. I love practice, too. I'm not practicing. I want an extra bye week. <laughs> I mean, that's just the NFL, right? It happens to everyone. But it's crazy. It happened to him, like, overnight. It's about his uh, what was it? What, what did he say to you? It's oh, I don't have non-contact injuries or something like that or what? What is it? He whatever. said something. Yeah, he something did. About he, his he whatever his injuries are, but whatever anyway, they are. Yeah, I mean, it is taxing. I mean, shoot, this guy's out there just like being an elite receiver and bashing fools' heads in. I mean, I'm pretty sure when he's over there pancaking, he's getting his his helmet in and digging in on someone because that's a lot of times what a lineman used to do. One of my cousins when he was growing up playing as lineman, he said, "What I would always do." I get in them and I drive them back and then I'd head back. <laughs> so then that way you got a bunch of contact going there. So that way you let the opponent know, like, I'm, it's going to keep happening. That way you make them look, that, that's a way of softening them up. So okay. I, okay. Yeah. I don't really well, see all the, with the with Kittle, why, why he wouldn't definitely want to suggest that. I mean, I'm making fun of Kittle, but like, he's right. No, there should be two bye weeks. The 17th game is outrageous. The fact that they did that, the fact that there, I mean, Thursday night football in and of itself, is outrageous because the games are terrible. It's hardly NFL football. There's no uh, game planning. It's not right to ask yeah. the players to play on whatever three days rest. It's outrageous, but the NFL clearly doesn't care. So yeah, Kittle's definitely right. Just want to say that. I believe while we're at it, just get rid of Thursday night football. It's not going to happen, mm -hmm. but I've always hated it. There's a reason why they always put the bottom feeding teams on Thursday night football, and then but I think this year now that they've now that they got it on Amazon, they actually like juiced it up. You got like Chiefs and Chargers. I think even the Niners are on there playing someone good. Oh no, that's the Seattle. No one cares about that game. But um, isn't it funny how Richard Sherman is going to be an announcer for Thursday night football when he's been vocal about how awful Thursday night football is? I mean, he's on record, maybe. But I mean, he's. Re I just think that's funny. Like, yeah, everyone hates Thursday night football until it's time to make money off of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Saying. But yeah, it's, they mean, shouldn't even. Uh, it's like they always say, like, "Hey, you have a little mini bye week after the Thursday night." Well, yeah, because you just played on forty-eight hours of rest. Yeah, that's always that's always been like the worst turnaround. Like, let me just go ahead and play. And they're wondering why like, some of these guys get injured, like the the game before or even during that same game. But you you got Richard Sherman, who's always against Thursday night football. All right, I'll take Amazon. And then you got John Lynch, who was offered almost the same. That was probably a, that was probably Lynch's position that Sherman actually took. If you think about it. Yeah. So he, we're sure yeah, we're Lynch is like, point. I, I need the game. I need the game. I don't have enough for this. So let me just say, let me just say, man, John Lynch is a football junkie. He, he, what did he do? It's like 15 million, 20 million, whatever it was reported yeah. to stay yeah. on for like half as much. Thursday junkie. night football sucks for a few reasons. I mean, it's, it's one, it's unfair for the players who aren't fully uh, recovered, 
But also, like, one of the things I like most about football is the game planning and strategy from the coaches. You don't get much of that in Thursday night football. They didn't have time to really – to do the, the the homework, let alone install whatever they were going to do specific to that opponent. So it sucks. 